Today, over 80% of the world's energy comes from fossil fuels. Ever since the Industrial Revolution, humans have been using them, which has become a major cause for climate change and pollution. Fossil fuels emit carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, which traps sunlight. The more carbon dioxide in the air, the hotter the planet becomes. This will cause extreme weathers and, in turn, climate change to occur all over the world. Millions of people would suffer from natural disasters and rising sea levels. According to World Vision, a global humanitarian nonprofit, more than 430 people were reported dead after a tsunami wreaked havoc in Java and Sumatra of Indonesia last December. With the current rate at which we are burning fossil fuels, our world won't survive for much longer. And the common solution that people give is to develop renewable energy, such as wind, hydro, and solar power. But the problem with these renewables is that they're simply unable to provide enough energy for all of us. I know, sounds pretty pessimistic, huh? But what if I told you we could harness the power of the stars? What if we could have an infinite amount of clean energy at our fingertips? That would be amazing now, wouldn't it? And that is why I'm here today to talk about a specific type of renewable energy called nuclear fusion. Now, I used to live in China when I was seven, and I remember how the air was always very polluted. Sometimes we would have to wear masks to protect our lungs from the pollution, or we would get sick. Other times, school would be cancelled due to this heavy pollution, and people were encouraged to stay indoors. I especially enjoyed those days. But looking back now, I realized just how much the air pollution was ruining our atmosphere. Rarely would we get a chance to see clear blue skies, and for six years, I continued to live in this environment and breathe in this toxic air. I got used to living with this constant air pollution, and I lived fairly normally. However, I should state that constant air pollution shouldn't become a normal routine in a part of anyone's life. This pollution had a long-lasting effect on our health, and this was one of the main reasons that led me to take an interest in nuclear fusion. Now, there's a common misconception. Oh, sorry. Now, some of you may have thought that nuclear fusion is actually very dangerous because it's radioactive. But that is simply not true. In fact, nuclear fusion is actually currently being used by the sun right now, and that is where we are heading to. No, we obviously aren't actually going to the sun because we were burnt to crisps instantly. Instead, we can replicate it on Earth by colliding two hydrogen isotopes, deuterium and tritium, together to form helium. This collision releases an incredible amount of clean energy which we can use. And to put into perspective just how much energy, a few kilograms is enough energy to generate power for an entire city, such as the city of Brussels. Now, there's a common misconception between nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. After all, anything with nuclear in the name sounds like a recipe for destruction. But that is not always the case. Nuclear fission is when the nucleus of uranium-235 is split apart by rapidly flying neutrons to generate energy. This process also creates uranium waste, which can last up to millions of years, and is usually just buried underground. But in contrast, nuclear fusion doesn't produce any toxic waste, and the only materials required can be taken from our abundant seawater. Now, some people may argue that nuclear fusion does create toxic waste from the tritium it uses. And while this may be true, the tritium waste, the half-life of this waste, which is the time it takes for half of it to decay, is considerably shorter than any uranium waste, and the effects it has on the environment is almost negligible. Basically, it doesn't harm the environment at all. And the only real byproduct of nuclear fusion is helium, which is commonly used in pharmaceuticals, rocket fuel, and, of course, party balloons. 
And as an added bonus, nuclear fusion is also one of the safest energy sources to obtain because a fusion reactor is literally incapable of having a meltdown. In the case of an accident, the plasma inside the reactor would simply cool down and nothing else would happen. Basically, it wouldn't explode. And that is why nuclear fusion takes the spotlight as the energy of the future. Now, you might be wondering, well, how can we obtain fusion energy? And there are two main ways which have been proven to be the most effective magnetic confinement and inertial confinement. Magnetic confinement is when a magnetic field is used to squeeze plasma in a circular shaped chamber. This plasma is basically the hydrogen isotopes being heated to an extremely high temperature, causing it to lose its form. The other method, inertial confinement, uses superpowered lasers to heat up a pellet of fuel, making it extremely hot and dense enough to fuse. Both of these methods have been proven to be the most effective and reliable for producing fusion energy. Now, uh, now, you might be wondering, why do we need fusion energy compared to if we already have other renewables such as wind, hydro, and solar power? Why is this so important? Well, like I said before, those other renewables simply aren't as reliable or nearly as effective. For example, wind turbines require windy areas, solar panels require constant cleaning and sunlight, and hydropower plants are impacted by droughts. But for nuclear fusion, a fusion reactor can be placed anywhere, and the only materials it requires is water from our seawater. And furthermore, nuclear fusion is also capable of producing the most amount of clean energy out of all the other renewables. To put into perspective, a kilogram of coal gives around 8 kilowatt hours. A kilogram of uranium gives around 24 million kilowatt hours. But a kilogram of fusion energy can give up to 180 million kilowatt hours. That's a lot of clean energy. So if nuclear fusion is so great, why are we using it right now? And the simple answer is because currently the fusion reactors are just quite expensive to build, and we have also yet to obtain a net energy gain. This basically means that we put in more energy than we get out, so we aren't gaining anything at all. But that is why scientists are continually making efforts to improve current fusion research. It is critical to understand the urgency of our energy crisis. Currently, the world relies too much on fossil fuels, and it's harming the environment at an exponential rate. The longer we wait, the less habitable Earth becomes, and eventually would require us to migrate to a different planet. But moving the entire human race to a different planet is still far, far in the future. And that is why, for now, our best bet is to promote nuclear fusion research. With over 30 countries backing up mega projects like ITER, an international nuclear fusion research project, they are continually making efforts to prove the viability of nuclear fusion. And to help promote this fusion research, you could spread the word and raise public awareness through social media. And if you truly want to protect the children of the future, then our best bet is nuclear fusion. Thank you.